everyone. Hello, good evening. Everybody's good, good tonight? Good. Very nice. Good very evening. Nice. Very nice to see you tonight, okay? I see Max, Tatiana, Esther. Hi, Ms. teacher. Saba. Hello, Esther. Walter. How are you? Nice, nice. Always nice. Always, as it's usual. Raining. It's no, raining here. It's not raining here. So maybe later because here it usually rains at midnight, like around 11, 30, 12, uh, it starts raining. So it rains during the night. Good evening. Hey, good, good evening, Eduardo. Well. Everything good. Everything good. Me llega, me llega. Yeah, starting the class in good Monday vibes. Good Monday vibes. Buenas vibras para este lunes, ¿ok? Ganó el Barcita, 4-0. Uh, ay, me he desconectado del fútbol ahorita. No ah. tengo idea de quién va, cómo van. Nothing at all. I had too many things to do. Uh -huh. um, okay, okay, so let's see how many, how many people we have today. So, guys, today we start section number two. And I need to finish as soon as possible and do uh, section number three in this week. So tenemos que hacer sección dos y tres para esta semana. So we need to fly, 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 fly. But also we need to pay attention and understand everything that we're going to do, okay? So okay. if anything, if you have any questions, let me know. I am, I am probably in the lesson uh, one. In the platform, in the platform. Sí, sí. sí. Okay. Okay. Tienen, tienen okay. problemas. Hagan capturas de pantallas y compártanla con el grupo. Si alguien le puede ayudar y si no, cuando yo pueda ver, porque siempre estoy ocupado, ¿sabes? Eh, porque no puedo decirle, lo voy a ver rapidito. Entonces, cuando yo pueda verlo, lo veo y ya ofrezco ayuda. Si no, pues okay. ayuden siempre todos, pero siempre hagamos eso, ¿ok? Um, pero sí, tomen, eh, tomen el screenshot. O si no, anótelo también. Eso puede ser también. ¿Ok? Ok. Cool. All right. So, let's begin. Comencemos porque eh, tenemos mucho que hacer. ¿Ok? Mucho okay. que hacer. Mucho, mucho trabajo que repetir. Repetition is good for you and good for me too. ¿Ok? Let's go. Let's see what we have. Let's share. Ok. Can everybody see the, the, the presentation? Yes. Good. So yeah. this is intermediate one. Uh, this is online class section number two. And today is Monday, September 28th, 2020. Monday, September 28th, 2020. So let's see. Let's practice this. What day is today? Eduardo, what day is today? Today is Monday. Today is Monday. The rest? No dije day, dije date. No dije d a y dije date, D-A-T-E, la fecha. Uh, oh. Today is September 28th. Good. So usted va a contestar así. Today is Monday, September 28th, 2020. Today ah, okay. is Monday, September 28th, 2020. Okay, one more time. Eduardo, what date is today? Today is Monday, September 28th, 2020. Good. As a stair. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Eduardo, Se you as a stair, please. What is what is date? Man? No, what is the date today? Ah, okay. What is the date today? Okay. The day is Monday, September 28th. Uh, Two thousand two thousand twenty. Esther, así. Today is Monday, September twenty-eighth, two thousand twenty. Otra vez, Esther. Today is Monday, September twenty-eighth, two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand twenty. Thousand. Thousand. 2020. 2020. Good. Okay, Esther, ask Max. Okay. 
What day date is today, Max? Okay, today is Monday, September 28, 2020. Very good. Thank you, Max. Max, ask Janet. Janet, what day is today? No, no, no day. Date. Date. What, what day Sorry. Is today? Janet, what date is today? Thank you. Today you. is Monday, September 2. two September 28. Se September 28. 2020. Two, 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 20. 20. Okay. 2020. 2020. Así tiene que responder Janet. Today yeah. is Monday, September 28th, 2020. Otra vez, Janet. Today is Monday, September 2020. What? Se saltó la fecha. Today is Monday, September 28th, 2020. So that's, uh, no lo puedo pronunciar. Wait, oh, no. 2000, 2000. 2028. <laughs> 2028, ya se saltó hasta 2028. <laughs> no, no, listen, Janet, listen. Today is Monday, September 28, 2020. Y hasta ahí. To, no, teacher. No se dé por vencida, vamos, vamos. Conmigo, conmigo. Today is Monday. Today is Monday, September 28th, September 28th, 2020, so that's 2000, 2020, 20. ahí está, ya está, ok, pregúntele a Grisela, Grisela, what's the date today? Grisela, what's the date? Today. What's the date today? What, what? What's the date? What's the day today? today. Okay, Grisela. Today is Monday, September 28, 2020. Good, Grisela. Thank you. Uh, ask Tatiana. Uh, Tatiana, what the date is today? Mm -mm, no, no, no. What's the date today? What's the date today is today? No, no, no. No lleva is. What's the oh. date today? What's the date today? today? Okay. Okay. Today is Monday, September 28, 2020. 2020. Okay, ask Danilo, please. Danilo, what's the day today? Today is Monday, September 28, 2020. Very good, Danilo. Ask Jennifer. Jennifer, what? Day, uh, what date? Mm -mm, no, 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 no. What's the what, date? What's what, the date today? What's the day today? Yes. Today is Monday, September 28, 2020. Good, Jennifer. Ask Walter. What date is today? <laughs> Walter. <laughs> well, today is Monday and we are on September 28th, 2020. Okay, that's good, that's good. Ask Saba. Hi Saba, what day is today? No, 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 what's the what? date? What's the date today? What's the oh, oh, date Walter, es que day? No estamos preguntando el día, sino que la fecha. What's date. the date? What's the date. date today? Date. Yes. What's the date today? Very good. <laughs> Saba, what's the date today? Uh, hello, today is September 28, 2020. Okay, you forgot Monday. Today is Monday, September 28, 2020. Uh, okay. Today is Monday, September 28, 20. Okay. Ask Lisbeth. Okay, Lisbeth. Uh, what's the date today? 
Monday, September 28, 2020. Okay, okay, you forgot today is Monday. Today is Monday, September 28, 2020. Uh, but it's okay, as, as Ulises. Ulises, what today is today? Today is Monday, today is Monday, September 28, 2020. Good. That's Veronica. Veronica, what's the day today? Uh, today is Monday, September 28, 2020. Yes, ask Vladimir. Okay, Vladimir, what's the day today? Today is Monday, September 28, 2020. Thank you, ask Noemi. Noemi, what today today? Today is Monday, September 28, 2020. Very good, very good, thank you. Okay, remember that it is different to say what 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 day is today, que día es hoy, que en vez de decir what's the day today, cuál es la fecha de hoy, okay? Very different. Let's move on, continuemos. So this is uh, the rules for the virtual classroom, logging on time, to know your cameras, be responsible, respectful our own times, Microsoft, microphone off until your turn, follow instructions, and speak up loud. You already know the rules. So let's go for what is going to be this session all about. De que se va a tratar esta sección? And it says, successfully identify, discuss, and talk about describing work and school, asking for and giving opinions, describing daily schedules. Listen one more time. Achievement indicator. Successfully identify, discuss, and talk about describing work and school. Asking for and giving opinions. Describing daily schedules. Everybody? How do you spend your day? Achievement indicator. Successfully identify, discuss, and, and talk about, about describing work and school. Asking, asking for, for and giving opinions. Opinion. Describing, describing daily schedule. schedule. Okay. You are. Okay. Remember. Um, any questions that you may have about vocabulary? Preguntas? Questions? No questions. Okay. Successful. Su uh, how do you say successful? Successfully. Successfully. Successfully identify. Successfully. Okay. La mayoría me está diciendo todavía identify. Is identify. Identify. Successfully identified, ok? Identified. So, en esta sección vamos a hablar de, 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 vamos a describir el trabajo y la escuela. También vamos a dar opiniones y a describir los horarios diarios. Horarios diarios, ok? So, let's go. Ok, esto ya lo habíamos hecho la vez pasada, so let's keep it. So we, we start with the first thing. Y así es como lo van a ver en la plataforma, miren. 2.2 es la lección que van a ver en la plataforma, 2.2. In this lesson, um, 2.0, aquí sí decimos 0, 2.0, achievement indicator. O también podemos decir 2.0, ok. So, achievement indicator. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs Using WH question words as well as statements. Todos leyendo? 2.0. A given two Lesson participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. WH question word and well and statement. Okay, any questions here? Preguntas? Statement. Ajá, ¿qué quiere decir statements? Yo les dije la vez pasada. Declarar. Afirmación. Af afirmaciones o aseveraciones. Ase que es mejor aseveraciones que afirmaciones. Porque afirmaciones puede ser positive answers. Eh, 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 respuestas positivas. Pero aseveraciones es diferente. So, sería aseveraciones, ¿ok? Ok. Moving on. So, esto es como lo van a encontrar en la plataforma 2.0, ¿ok? 2.0. Esta, es esta es la lección 2.0. Veamos qué tenemos en la, esta lección. 
en el forum, después de lo que vean en la plataforma, van a ver eso. Van a, esto es lo que supuestamente tienen que hacer en el forum. So, practiquémoslo. Todos conmigo. Let's see. Where do you work, Alcides? Everybody. Where do you work, Alcides? Ok, ojo. Alguien me está diciendo work. Word es palabra. Work. Mencionen la K. Work. 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 Ok. Where do you work? Work. Where do you work? I work at English Corporativo. I work, I work at English Corporativo. Oh, really? What do you do there? Oh, really? Really? Oh, really? What do you do there? Oh, really? What do you do there? Do you do there? I teach online English courses there. I, I teach only English, English, English courses, courses, there. courses there. Oh, oh, it's online. I teach online English courses there. Todos? I teach online English courses there. Is your job interesting? Is your, Is your job, job interesting? interesting? Is your job interesting? Is your job interesting? Ojo, me lo están diciendo interesting, no. Interesting. 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 Is, is, is your yeah. job interesting? Is your job interesting? Is your job interesting? Yes, it's very interesting. I get to know nice people. Yes, very interesting. Very interesting. I get to know nice people. Yes, it's very interesting. I get to know nice people. Yes, it's very interesting. I get to know nice people. How do you like your job? 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 I really love my job. Plus, I like I to interact. Wait, esperen que yo termine. I really love my job. Plus, I like to interact with really cool students from all over the country. Todos? I really, I really love, love my job. job. I love my job. I interact with really, really, really cool students from all over the country. I really love my job. Plus, I like to interact with really cool students from all over the country. I really love my job. I like to interact with really cool students from all over the country. Good. Um, questions? Preguntas acá? No. No. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, let me see what we have next. Okay. Como dije, eh, la vez pasada, les voy a dar solo lo de la plataforma, pero voy a agregar un poquito de grammar también. Entonces, primero hagamos esta, um, esta práctica en grupo. Take a screenshot, take a screenshot, guys. Yeah. Screenshot, screenshot. Got it. ¿Todos ya la tienen? Got Okay, let's go to practice. Remember, listen to your classmates on pronunciation and if they make mistakes, correct them. Si escuchan que alguien está haciendo um, mal algo, corrijamos, okay? Let's go. Uh, let me make the rooms. I'm going to put three to four persons. Here we go. Go to your class, go to your chat rooms and start practicing, please. Go to your chat rooms and start practicing. Go to your chat rooms and start practicing, please. Go to your chat rooms and start practicing. Go to your chat rooms and start practicing. Yeah. 
No la veo. No, no la veo. La... No. No. Ahora, ok. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Ok. okay. Eh. Vale, leemos primero y, y para ver cómo está la pronunciación y luego nos contamos. Sí, está bien. Eh, where do you work, Alcides? I work at English Corporativo. Oh, really? What do you do? Oh, why? What do you do there? Oh, really? What do you do there? I teach there. online English course there. Courses. Courses. I teach, courses. I teach online English I courses. Teach English, online English courses there. Is your job inter interesting? Interesting. Interesting. Yes, it is very interesting. I get to know nice to people. How do you like your job? How do you like your job? I really love my job. Plus, I like to interact with really cool students from all over the country. Está en plural. Students. Students. Ah, oh, sí, sí, sí. Students from all over the country. Good, good, good. I'll see this. Le voy a preguntar y usted me contesta. ¿Mí? A, a Ulises, perdón. <laughs> ok. Go ahead. Ok. ¿Where do you work, Ulises? <laughs> I don't work. I study English. <laughs> Oh, really? What do you do there? I study English. <laughs> <laughs> you, is your job interesting? Interesting. 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 Como que lleva tres en medio. Interesting. 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 Yes, it's, it's, it's very interesting. I'm I'm learning a lot of uh, Nancy, how do you like your job? I really love my job plus I like to share with really cool students from all over the country. Pregúntenme a mí esa porque a mí me cuesta. <laughs> Verónica, how do well, you like your job? I really love my job. Plus, I like to interact with really cool students from all over the country. Okay, Students. Ok, students. students. Pero, no, pero no tiene que decir la letra E, solo el sonido de la S. Uh -huh. Students. Uh, students. 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 Así. Students. Ok. Eh, bueno, la palabra que ya, ya superamos quizás es interesting. Así, teacher. Interesting. 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 Interesting, yeah. interesting. Bueno, eh, Nancy, where do you work at CIDES? I work at CIDES. I work at Inglés Corporativo. Oh, really? What do you do, what do, you do there? I teach online English courses there. Is your job interesting? Yes, it's very interesting. I get to know nice people. How do you like your job? I really love my job because I like to interact with really good students from all over the country. Okay. 
creo que no lo aprendimos. Sí. Pero, bueno, ya no pueden salir. Ya no, salí. No, falta. Where do you work? Okay, let's see. Everybody's here. Let me check. Uh, no, we're still waiting for some people. Kidoki. Okay, so let's move on, guys. Uh, like I said, we have a lot to do, so that is the first thing. So let's go to the part in this lesson uh, for the grammar part. Let's see. Okay, here it is. Uh, remember that in this in this type of situations, I, I put somebody to read, okay? Uh, let's see, going next. Okay, let's see, Eduardo, can you start reading, please? Eduardo, can you start reading? Perdón, perdón. Talking about jobs. What is your job? Is grammatically correct, but not usually the ways we ask someone's occupations. Instead, we ask, what do you do? Or the longer form, what do you do for a living? Thank you very much. So yeah, this is, this is how usually people ask, well, generally. Nowadays, everybody's using, what do you do? But sometimes you're going to hear people saying, what do you do for a living? That means, ¿qué haces para, para ganarte la vida? So that's what it is. And what do you do? ¿Qué haces? Pero se está refiriendo que, cuál es su profesión, ¿ok? Eh, any questions here? ¿Preguntas? I have a question. Yes. That is, what is your job? That means your profession or occupation. Even you don't work in this moment. Yeah, yeah well... No, no, no. Eh, no. If you don't work, it doesn't apply. No aplica si no, no está trabajando. Because what is your job is specifically that you have a job. Um, but in what do you do, if, you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if it's what do you do, ahí sí aplica aunque no esté trabajando. Con what do you do. Si alguien me dice, ah, okay. what do you do, I'm an English teacher, aunque no esté trabajando. Okay. okay. So what do you do if for occupation and profession? Yes. And what is your job? It's that you do for, for learn some money. <laughs> for, to earn some money. Yes, that's it. Good. Thank you, Pete. You're welcome. Any other question? No. Good. Moving on. Okay, Max, your turn. Okay. What does occupation or living mean? Occupation. What do people do to make a living? And because all of us do something or the other, we often talk about occupation. Here are sample phrases and sentences you can use to talk about occupation. How to ask someone what they do for a living? So young. What do you do for a living? What is your occupation? What do you do to make a living? I'm a doctor. I am a doctor. I help sick people. Very good. Thank you very much. Any questions, guys, about anything? Pueden preguntar sobre pronunciación o qué significa una palabra. Yo, teacher, uh, sometimes is something. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Sometimes. Oh, no, no. Because of all of us do something. 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 Es algo. Something. 
okay. y, y la pronunciación que usted está haciendo, sometimes, es para algunas veces. Okay. Ah, ok. Ok. Any other questions? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No, we're good then. Quiet. Ajá. ¿Pregunta? No. No, no teacher. Ok, good. Let's move on then. Ok, let's see who's going to read next. I think it's Esther. Can you read this, please? Describe the jokes. A person who is fair. What's a biker? A person who makes. What's a cobbler? A person who fi fixes. 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 A, bit. a person who treat uh, animals. A person who who's close now. What a flirt. A person whose job is uh, flowers. Is to sell flowers. Yeah, very good. So this is how you describe jobs. A person plus a person who plus a bird. That would be in Spanish, una persona que. En este caso, que vende flores, que hace el pan, que arregla los zapatos, okay. y que atiende a los animales enfermos. So that's how you use this. A person who plus a person whose is different. And con el, a person con whose plus a noun, dice a person whose job is to sell. Eh, una persona la cual su trabajo es. La cual, whose. la cual su trabajo es. It's very different from this. Whose. Because whose is related a quien. And who is quien. Okay? Sí. Let's move on. Okay, let's see who's next. I need somebody else to read. Okay, Janet, can you read this part, please? Okay. Joe. Occupation. A contact, baker, barbers, barmer woman, barmer woman, busher, chambermaid. What do they what do they do? Look after the finances in organization, bakes bread, shy shape men's beer bears. And cut men's ears, serve drinks, preparing, prepare, and sell meat, clean and tidy rooms. Tidy, clean and tidy rooms. Clean, tidy rooms. Where do they work? They work in the office. They work in bakery. They work in barbers. They work is a bar. Pub or restaurant? Bar or restaurant. They work in the voucher. They work in the hotel. 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 Ok, um, Janet, me fijé de que usted se me come la, 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 el artículo. And, no me, and they, no me, work me, ajá, an they work in an office. They and work they in a bakery. They work, they work in a, es toda es, la a, la a, la a, en, se, no, no la pronunció. So be careful, be careful. You need to pronounce it, okay? Okay. Um, any questions here, guys? Cualquier pregunta aquí? Oh, y esta pronunciación, Janet, barman, Ay. está bien, pero esta no la, esto dijo woman. Women. Y es women. 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 Ah, sí, sí, plural, perdón. El plural sí. es women. Um, women. Any other questions, guys? No, entonces yo les pregunto a ustedes, ¿qué okay. significa tidy? Butcher. ¿Qué significa tidy? Limpia, como mm. ropa sucia. No. Sábana sucia. No. Anti rooms. Clean, okay. rooms. ¿Con quiénes arreglan? Arreglan. Arreglar. 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 El, el, o sea, dejar no. bien arregladito todo. Tidy significa arreglar. Ordenar. Uh -huh. okay. eh, mm. Alguien preguntó butcher. Butcher, ¿qué son butchers? Carniceros. 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 Very good. Ok, muy bien. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién sigue? Vamos a ver. That was Janet. Uh, Tati, Tati, ¿puedes hacer esto, por favor? Sí. 
um, job occupation, chef, dentist, doctors, fish mongers, fly attendant. What do they do? Prepare and cook food. Look after people's teeth. Look up after people's health. Prepare and selfish. Look after passengers. Where do they work? They work in a kitchen. They work in a dentist. They work in a hospital or surgery. 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 They work in a fishmonger. They work in a airplane. airplane. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Any questions here? I think it's very clear, right? Okay. Cool. Moving on. Let's see who's next. Ulysses, can you read this, please? Job occupation. Hairdressers. Uh, job. Right. Judges, 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 judges. judges. Yeah. lawyers, judges. nurses, opti opticians. What do they do? Cut and style people's hair, judge and sentence people, defend and pros prosecute. prosecute people, look after patients, look after people's eyesight. Where do they work? They work in hair salon. They work in a law court. They work in a law court and in a lawyer office. They work in a hospital or doctor surgery. surgery. They work in a, an optician. Okay, good. Questions? Surgery. 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 Cirugía. Okay, okay. Any other question? Otra pregunta? I have a question. Yes. Este, cuando dice people, se, en plural sería siempre con la contracción, peoples. Para decir que no, no, no. es varia gente. No, no, no. Esta no es plural. Este es... Uh, eh, people is, contraction. No, es... Possession. Possession. Eh, possession. 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 Mm -hmm. Entonces, corta el, el cabello de la gente. De la gente. Mm, yeah. Ok. Ok, gracias. Si fuera plural gentes, solo sería la S sin, sin apóstol. Ok. Teacher, y cuando dice proceder, proceder, procesar. ¿Dónde, dónde está? Eh, lawyer, the pen, uh, prosecute. Yeah, oh, prosecute. Uh, uh, procesar. Procesar a gente. Que, o sea, de ir a todas las cortes, estar en contacto con él. Ok. Okie dokie. Okay, let's see who's next. Okay, uh, Kenya, can you do this, please? Job occupation, receptionist, sales assistant, secretaries, surgeons, tailors. What do they do? Meet and greet visitors. Sell goods and look out for customers, arrange appointments, type letters or organize meetings, operate uh, on people who are sick, design, make, alter or repair garments. Where do they work? They work in reception, they work in a shop, they work in an office, they work in a hospital, and they work in factories and shops. Nice, nice reading. Thank you, Kenya. Kenya, right? Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, any questions, anybody? Pregunta, cual, uh, ¿quién tiene una pregunta? What is the meaning of garments? Garments, eh, ropas, ropas. So you can- Clothes. Yeah, you can say a shirt, that's my garment. Eh, okay. Una camisa, usted puede decir garment. Okay. Okay, but it's not in specific, pero no puede ser en específico, que solo a, a una cosa le va a decir Carmen. Puede ser cualquier cosa, a la camisa, al pantalón. Yo no traje. Eh, design, make, alter, or repair garments. Ah, ¿Cuál? Eh, siempre, siempre ahí. Eh, uh -huh. 
confecciona trajes. Puede ser. No, ¿Trajes? diseña, diseña y hace. Y hace. Diseña y hace. Porque diseña. confeccionar es otro, otro verbo. Ah, ok. okay. Good. ¿No hay otra pregunta? No. Ok, ok, let's move on. Ok, vamos a ver después. Uh, Verónica, can you read this, please? Okay. Job occupation. T-shirts, technician, beds, waiter, waitress, welders. Wait, wait, wait. What? Waiters, waitresses. Waiters. Okay, waiters, waitresses. Welders, uh, what, do, what do they do? Teach people. Organize and repair. Organize, they, organize. Organize, organize and repair. Um, organize and repair. Technical equipment, 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 equipment. Uh, look after people, animals, serve people food and drink. Well, Mera, uh, do make things. What do you do? They work in a school. They work everywhere. They work in a veterinary surgery on bed or beds. They work in a restaurant. They work in factories and construction. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any questions? Somebody? Anybody? Nobody. Okay, moving on. Okay, so this is nobody is nobody. <laughs> okay, um, let's see this little exercise. Remember that we did introductions the other day. So, uh, what's your name? My name is Tony. What do you do? I'm a teacher. Where do you work? I work at English Corporativo. What do you do there? I teach English there. Where is English, where is English Corporativo located? It's located in Colonia Escalón by Torre Futura. Everybody? What's your name? My name is Tony. What do you do? I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. What do you do there? What do you do there? What do you do there? Where is English Corporativo located? Where is English Corporativo Very good. So this is a little thing that we already passed. So that was talking about jobs, okay? So now let's go to 2.2 achievement indicator. Así como está en, 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 en la plataforma, 2.2. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Everybody. By the end of this lesson, this lesson will be able to understand and use simple present. Very good. Okay, so at the end, we're going to understand the simple present. Very good. Okay, so at the end, we're going to understand the simple present. Very good. Okay, so at the end, we're going to understand the simple present. Very good. Okay, so at the end, we're going to understand the simple present. Very good. Okay, so at the end, we're going to understand the simple present. Very good. Okay, so at the end, we're going to understand the simple present. Very good. Okay, so at the end, we're going to understand the simple present. Very good. Okay, so at the end, we're going to understand the simple present. Very good. Okay, so at the end, we're going to understand the simple present. Very good. Okay, so at the end, we're going to understand the simple present. Very good. Okay, But anyways, I'm going to explain everything. Voy a tratar de que todo quede claro como el horchat, ¿ok? Pero para es la yay. Horchata with pupusas, right? <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad. <laughs> okay, so this is what you're going to do in the platform. So this is what it is right there, ¿ok? Esto es lo que vamos a hacer en la plataforma. Oh, my bad. Okay. What do you do, Alcides? 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 Very good. I'm an English teacher. I'm an English teacher. Where do you teach English? Where do you teach English? I teach online English courses. I teach online English courses. What does your mom do? What does, what does your mom, mom, do? mom do? She is a secretary. She is a secretary. Where does she work? Where does, Where does she, she work? work? She works downtown at the city hall. She works, she works downtown, downtown at the city hall. city hall. Good. Questions? Yeah, me? Yeah. Uh, what is city hall? Uh, <laughs> it's, um, uh, it's where you get your uh, birth certification. Donde usted le dan uh, su certificado de nacimiento, ¿dónde es? 
Alcaldía. Alcaldía, yes. Ah, okay. City Hall. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other question? City. How do you say hall? Or hall? City, City Hall. Hall. City Hall. City Hall. Yes. City Hall. 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 Okay. Creo que en esta no habría mucho problema. Todo lo entendimos bien, right? Ok. No, es, viene eh, siendo lo mismo que practicamos anteriormente. Nada más un poquito la, la estructura es diferente. Ok, let's move on. Ok, so we're going to check the simple present, section A. Ok, let's see. Um, quiero ver que me ayude aquí. Eh, ¿Qué me ha pasado? Let me check, let me check. Oh, Vladimir, can you do this, please? We use the simple present to describe. Wait, my bad, my bad, my bad. We use the simple present to describe general statement or timeless truth. Most people need about eight hours of sleep at night. Adults have 2,200, sorry, 206 bones. Baby have 272, 300. And Apple a day keeps the doctor away. Very good. Thank you very much. So, number one is that the simple present describes general statements or tiny truth. Uh, in Spanish, it would be que el, el presente simple habla sobre eh, verdades generales. Okay? For example, most people need about eight hours of sleep a night. La mayoría de la gente ocupa o necesita ocho horas de, para dormir en la noche. Um, that's, that's a general truth. It's una verdad general. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's what it is. Any questions? So, la primera forma que podemos utilizar el, el presente simple es para verdades generales. Okay? That's number one. Let's go. Move on. Number two. A ver, ¿quién va a ser el number two? Nancy, can you do this, please? We use the simple present to describe habit or routine. I never get to bed before midnight. The class meets from 10 to, to, 12. to 12. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Thank you very much. Okay, as you can see, we use the simple present to describe habits or routines. La primera cosa que vimos es que se utiliza el presente simple, ¿cuál es? Verdades generales. Verdades generales. O sea, información que usted no puede cambiar. Por ejemplo, my name is Alcides. My name is not Luis. My name, my name is not Mike. O sea, mi nombre es Alcides. Nadie lo puede cambiar. O sea, es una, es una eh, verdad general. <coughs> so, la dos dice que vamos, la vamos a utilizar para hablar de hábitos, hábitos o rutinas. ¿Qué es un hábito? Algo que hacemos seguido. Sí. Y una rutina es lo que hacemos diariamente. Por ejemplo, bañarnos, comer el desayuno, todo eso. ¿Ok? Hábitos y rutinas. I never get to bed before midnight. Oh, eso no aplica a mí. Ok, so, um, so this is what we do. That's number two. Ok, habits and routines. Let's go. ¿Preguntas? Estamos entendiendo hasta el momento. Van entendiendo todo. ¿Sí? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, I hope so. Let's move on. In the next one, let's see who goes next. No woman, no cry. Um, Jennifer, can you do this, please? Yes. We use the simple present to describe present states. I don't want to move. My arms hurt. Very good, very good. So, también, número tres, dice que lo, lo, utilizamos el presente simple para eh, estados en el momento. ¿Cómo nos sentimos en el momento? Por ejemplo, I don't want to go. No quiero ir. My arms hurts. Mis, mis brazos me duelen. So, esos son estados en el momento. ¿Cómo se siente en el momento? ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, I want to cry. ¿No? <laughs> That's me. That's only me. <laughs> Oh, so sad, so sad. Okay, moving on. Teacher, yeah? That is including feelings. Feelings, correct, yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. Like I said, I'm so sad. I want to cry. 
Okay, thank you. Or, I'm so hungry, I want to eat. Okay. I want to eat um, four, I, uh, I want to eat six pupusas. Yeah? <laughs> with, with a bit chocolate, hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why forever gordito, forever gordito. Okay, moving on. Uh, let's see, next. Okay, this is a simple present, section B. Okay, in section A, ¿qué, qué aprendimos en, en la sección A? Que hay tres, tres formas de utilizar el presente simple. Número uno. Las verdades generales. Verdades generales, exacto. Número dos. Hábitos o rutinas. Hábitos o rutinas, yes. El número tres. Estado sí. del momento. Estado del sí. momento, en el momento, yes. Very good, very good. Moving on. Veamos qué tenemos en la sección B. Ok, esta lo va a hacer. Quiero ver quién. Um, Eliseo, can you do this, please? Eliseo. Sí. Uh, sometimes it is difficult to determine correct, so just bear agree agreement. 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 agreement in a sentence. For example, when two subjects are, are connected with an, mm -hmm. my mother and father like it, it her. Good, good. So this is kind of not difficult, but in the sense that when you use it, you're going to understand it better. En la forma en que lo utilizamos a diario se entiende mejor. En este caso, eh, lo que nos está diciendo que eh, cuando hay que determinar cuál es el sujeto o el verbo, entonces eh, en una oración, en este caso, my mother and father, o sea, está uniendo a mother y father, las dos personas, ¿ok? Like it here. Y lo que significa es que a, a mi mamá y a mi papá les gusta, les gusta, les gusta aquí. For example, my mom likes it here. A mi mamá le encanta aquí San Salvador. But me, I like, I like it better in Chalatenango. I, like, I love Chalatenango. Okay, so that's how you use it, okay? Y que es, lo que tenemos que entender es esto, en, A-N-D. ¿Qué es A-N-D? Es una conjunción. Conjunction. Con, conjunction, yes. It's a conjunction que une una o dos palabras o a dos sujetos. En este caso, dos sujetos, mother and father. ¿Ok? Um, y latino. ¿Mande? Ah, sí, como... como la... y latino. Exacto. After. ¿Ok? Good. Um, ¿Questions? ¿Preguntas? No. Conjunction. Conjunctions, conjunción. Ok, Noemi, can you do this, please? Sometimes it is difficult to their determine correct subject where agreement in a sentence for example when there is a preposition prepositional prepositional press after the subject the difference between us is hard to explain the programs on television aren't very good good a veces no, no dice Cady que no podemos entender en algunas frases después de que hay una propos, propos, proposición. Que la proposición es between, por ejemplo, y en esta es eh, on, on, on y between son prepositions, ¿ok? Pero en este caso, the difference between us is hard to explain. No está muy confuso. La, la diferencia entre nosotros es muy difícil de explicar. The program on television are, aren't very good. So, estos, estos son ejemplos bien claros. No hay problema con eso. Okay. Let's see next. Who's next? Um, Walter, can you do that, please? Walter? Yes, I can. Sometimes it is difficult to determine the correct subject, verbs agreement in a sentence for example when the subject is an indefinite indefinite pronoun for example everyone is here does anything ex ex exciting 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 exci exciting ever happens here good in este caso si sí, uh, les puedo decir de que hay mucha gente que se equivoca o se confunde porque no saben si everyone 
es plural o singular. Pero la mayoría de gente lo trata como singular, aunque, aunque diga everyone significa todos. ¿Ok? Aunque significa todos. Que en español todos es plural. ¿Ok? Pero en, en español podemos decir todos están aquí. Ahí sí es general. Pero aquí en inglés no. Everyone is here. En, en, en inglés es tomado como singular. ¿Ok? And thus es el auxiliar del presente simple. Y anything puede ser cualquier cosa. ¿Ok? Por eso es que es confuso para muchos. Pero no nos vamos a meter mucho en eso porque no los quiero confundir a ustedes. So let's move on. Vamos a la sección C. La sección dice, correct common errors. Everyone find an error. Everyone have the duty to vote. ¿Cuál será el error que hay ahí en esta, en esta oración? Everyone have the duty to vote. Para empezar, ¿qué es duty? ¿Alguien sabe qué es duty? No. 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 Vaya, por ejemplo, a soldier has a duty to go to combat. Los soldados son llamados a deber, deber es 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 un deber. Ah, deber, duty, deber. Everyone have a duty to vote. Like Todos tienen que a votar. A votar. Ahora veamos cuál es. Mire. La corrección es, everyone has the duty to vote. ¿Por ah, qué? Yeah. Porque les dije que eh, everyone se toma como singular. Y aquí have es para plural. Por eso, has yeah. singular. Everyone has the duty to vote. Okay? Let's see the explanation. Be careful to use correct subject. Bear agreement when the subject is a definite pronoun. So, mm -hmm. Es un pronombre indefinido. Okay? My mother always gets what he wants. My brother always gets what he wants. ¿Cuál es el error ahí? It's missing the S in the verb get. Get. Let's see. There you go. Very good. Very good. My brother always gets what he wants. ¿Por qué? Porque como él sí es singular y el presente simple indica que en tercera persona debe llevar S al final cada verbo. Okay? Mm -hmm. Porque es tercera persona. Very good. Mm -hmm. I I very proud to be a part of this group. ¿Cuál es el, el error ahí? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, there you go. I am. I, I am, am very proud to be a part of this group. Very good. Use the simple mm -hmm. present to describe present state. El estado es que él está orgulloso de pertenecer a ese grupo. And people in a big city has more trouble sleeping. ¿Cuál es el error? Has. 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 People has. in a big city have more trouble sleeping. ¿Por qué? Is the same agreement. En la anterior decíamos que people estaba haciendo... Ajá, porque es plural. La gente... Okay. All right, guys. Y aquí llegamos al 2.5. Wait. Preguntas antes de que pasemos de esto. Preguntas sobre el presente simple. Háganme preguntas, please. No pasaron, ¿va? No questions? Mm. No. Ok, le voy a preguntar yo entonces. So, yo sé que el presente simple ya lo vieron porque ustedes ya son pre-intermedio y eso lo aprenden en, en, en el básico. So, I'm going to ask you, eh, what is the general question for the simple present? ¿Cuál es la pregunta general del presente simple? What is the general question? Quizás cuando... Eh... Cuando en el verbo teacher, este, hay que agregarle la S en el, simple, en el presente. No, 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 no. Eso es para terceras personas. Yo digo, ¿cuál es la pregunta general? Todos los tiempos tienen una pregunta general. ¿Cuál es la del presente simple? Por ejemplo, cuando usted le pregunta a alguien qué hace para, para ganarse la vida, ¿cómo lo hace? 
What do you do? Uh, do, you do? I think do the you auxiliary do? is the do? most important thing. What do you do? Cuando usted pregunta, what do you do? Esa es la pregunta general. Que también sirve para preguntarle a alguien qué hace o cuál es su profesión. Pero la pregunta general es, what do you do? No importa lo que esté haciendo. Por ejemplo, si alguien me dice... Pregunta general para el presente simple. Uh -huh. ah, por ejemplo, si yo estoy... Yo puedo decir cualquier respuesta con esa. Que alguien me diga, hey, Alcides, what do you do? Eh, si me dice alguien, Alcides, what do you do? I'm a teacher. Pero si alguien me dice, Alcides, what do you do on Thursday nights? Alcides, ¿qué hace los, los, los jueves por la noche? Entonces, ya es una pregunta general con objetivo. Entonces, yo puedo decir, ah, oh, on Thursday nights I go to a karaoke bar. Los jueves por la noche voy a cantar al karaoke. Ok? So, that's what I do. So, esa es la pregunta general. What do you do? So, ¿alguien se acuerda de otros tiempos que hayan aprendido anteriormente? Yo sé que sí. ¿Cuáles otros tiempos? A, aparte del presente simple. ¿Cuáles otros tiempos? Presente ¿Cuál? continuo. Present continuous. Very good. Detengámonos mm -hmm. ahí. What is, the, what is the general question for the present continuous? ¿Cuál es la pregunta general del presente continuo? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Yes, what are you doing? I'll see what are you doing? Oh, I'm teaching a class. I'm teaching English. ¿Ya? Yeah? O sea, dependiendo de lo que esté haciendo en el momento. Porque es una acción que, que, que lo vemos en el momento. ¿Ok? Por eso es la pregunta. What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Esa es la pregunta general del presente continuo. Ok, ¿qué otro tiempo se acuerdan? What other... Do you, do you remember? Simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Very good. What is the general question for the simple past? What did you do? What did you do? What did, yeah. What did you do? ¿Qué hiciste? What did you do? Today? What did you do? Entonces, dependiendo de lo que haya hecho. Por ejemplo, así es. What did you do last night? Oh, last night I ate pupusas. Anoche comí pupusas. Yeah. So, that is, so, pero la pregunta general es, what did you do? Y usted va a responder con cualquier verbo que, que, sea, que le sea posible, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Good. So, we have present continuous, simple past, and simple present. ¿Qué otro tiempo? Llevan tres por el momento. Yo sé que saben más. Mm -hmm. Be going to. That is simple future. Simple future. Future. Yeah? Yeah, simple future. Simple future. Mm -hmm. And what is the general question? What is the pregunta general? Yeah. What were you doing? No, no, no. no. Simple future. Simple future. Mm. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? ¿Qué vas a hacer? What are you going to do? ¿Qué vas a hacer? What are you going to do? Okay. I'm going to eat pupusas. I'm going to eat pupusas. Se utiliza going to. Ese es el, el futuro sin. So, llevamos cuatro. Ahí nos vamos a quedar porque ya se me llegó el tiempo. Ok, so, let's see. Guys, uh, we finished for tonight class. Uh, that was good. Uh, I hope that you guys remember what we were doing. In this case, we're talking about a simple present. But I want to know how many tenses do you remember? ¿Cuántos tiempos recuerdan? Vamos a continuar con eso mañana, ok? So, I'll see you tomorrow, God willing. Los veo el día de mañana. Dios mediante. Uh, have a good night, okay? Good night. Extra material speech. Night. Good night. Yes, the extra material. Um, tomorrow, I'm going. Thank you. To, thank you. Thank I'm you. going to tell you tomorrow, okay? No, for the extra material, the class for the day. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Good cool. night. Cool. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night.